God damn it, WA, what the hell is you doing? What the hell is you doing, WA, with this brutal ass schedule that you didn't gave this team? What the hell was y'all thinking? Y'all go damage the product. You only get one shot at this, right? What's that shit that you play for NCAA basketball? One shining moment. This is your one shining moment. And you are fucking it up. Whose bright idea was it to put the goddamn best teams in the WNBA against the fucking fever in the beginning of the goddamn season? I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Everybody talk about this motherfucking girl. is she, she whack. She sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck all that. Y'all know the bitch was good. Y'all know she was good. Come on, man. Fuck that. Y'all see the bitch play. But what I didn't get to see this game, but I can tell you right now, three goddamn points, three goddamn points. What the hell happened over there? I'll tell you what the hell they happened. They put them against the goddamn best team in the WNBA. The bitches that only lost two games. They only lost two. But, you know, the Connecticut Sun is good too. Them bitches ain't no. But still, the motherfucking Liberty that won championships. They didn't won championships. The Aces, they didn't won championships. And both them teams, they beat the damn dog shit out of the fever. Both of them. Double digits. Double digit victories. Holy shit, WNBA, how are y'all fucking this up? The fans want to see this motherfucker play. They want to see a play. They want to see a score. She can't do that shit. If you go against the goddamn best team, she's on the sorriest goddamn team. <laughs> I don't want to hear this shit. Hey, y'all can say what y'all want to say. They're going to create the rivalry. Now look at that. She beat her. She beat Angel Reese heads up. Hey, I ain't picking no damn sides. But what I'm saying is, we talk about Caitlyn right now. Because of the reason why I'm even talking about fucking WNBA. Because of her. Not because of Angel Reese. But I see you over there, Angel Reese. You're doing your goddamn thing. You had a double-double a couple days ago. Keep on balling, girl. I see you. See, ain't no hate. Ain't no hate. I love all these women. I love to see them go out there and ball. But I came to see Caitlyn ball. And I, I'm not seeing the ball. I'm not seeing the ball. Why? Why would y'all do this to this person? I get it. I get it too. Because all them other girls, I know, I know how they feel. I know how they feel. I bet you they I, they have marked every goddamn game down on the schedule that they gotta play to the goddamn fever. Every one of them. The bitches make sure they get the best rest. They ain't going out to eat. They ain't fucking, they ain't doing shit. They gonna make sure everything is right so they can get in this game and beat y'all ass. That's their sole purpose. Every time they see the fever, they gonna fuck y'all up. The bitches like we made this and we ain't gonna stand for it. <laughs> So they bust their ass. Oh my God. Look. Now the game against the uh what is it, the Sparks? No, the, the, the Chicago Sky, because that's that's Angel's uh team. I really was rooting for Caitlin, right? Just like I was rooting for her quietly against motherfucking South Carolina. Why? Because I saw nothing wrong with this girl. And I don't look at no goddamn color. I want to see that motherfucker win. <laughs> Just because they talk shit about her. That's why. That bitch could have been black, white, Hispanic, Korean, Chinese, Japanese. Cream, cream, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb. It don't, I don't give a fuck, Jamaican. I don't give a fuck. If that bitch is good, I'm going to fucking talk about her. Juju is up next. Juju, do your goddamn thing, girl, so I can talk about you just like I talk about Kaylin. So you got to give me a reason to talk about you motherfuckers. Yeah, I talk about them other bitches now, too, because I see them out there balling. They doing a goddamn great job out there. You can't hate on these hoes. You can't. It's like you can't hate on Kaylin because she brought our attention. I'm sorry, Kaylin. I'm sorry. But I need you to get over all that shit. You had a bad game, apparently. You hit one goddamn shot. And did you at least pinch the bitch? One for ten from from three point. What the hell were they? It was were they anybody out there who's seen the game? Put in the comments. Were they double teen her ass again? Triple teen? Cause they beating that bitch up. They is beating Kaylin's ass up. Did you see Angel re slam that motherfucker? Now nah, I know she kind of added some to it. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's you know it's basketball. <laughs> People, the basketball players are weak now. They're not like how we used to be back in the day. We're not going to fall down. If you grab somebody from my day like that and round their neck muscles, you're going to beat your ass. We're going to be fighting straight up. And then we're just going to keep on playing. That's how it was. We fought and then we moved on. They don't got that. They don't got that in today's game. So when you see shit out like that, like that you're like, oh my God, throw, them, throw her out the game. She doesn't need to be in there. Come on, man. It's basketball, bro. If you ain't never played, I don't think you should be talking about it. 
I played basketball before, you know what I'm saying? I played all these sports before, and I'm not talking about it in a way to be like, hey, I'm just a sports analyst, that, I, that I'm the, the guru. No, I'm not no fucking guru. I'm just calling it like it is, telling y'all the truth. And the truth is, I'm talking about this shit right now because of goddamn Kaylin Clark. Y'all know it. If you, You're a goddamn lie. You a goddamn lie if you anybody out there is talking about women's basketball right now and you ain't talking about Caitlin Clark. You's a goddamn lie. You's a lie. We five minutes in this thing. See, I had somebody tell me to shorten them up and I'm shorting them up and I probably cursed a lot. <laughs> and if I did, I'm sorry. I'm trying to work on it, but I'm an 80s baby. You know what that means, right? We was born in an age of reckless behavior, an era of reckless behavior. I told you, I got the people on my wall right now. These people that y'all see on this wall, them, these motherfuckers that y'all see on this wall, they movies, they skits, none of that shit would be playing right now in today's world. None of it. Because they broke all the goddamn barriers. If you knew anything about Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, go look, look, go look at Eddie Murphy Raw. And delirious. Go look at the movies and you'll see why I talk like I talk. I just so happen to still be alive, right? And from an era where I saw all this stuff happening. Look, man, I saw the WNBA when it first started back in 1997. I saw it with my own eyes. I saw it in person at the actual games. I seen it. And it was good for its time. And times have to change. And the times have changed. And they ushering in a new right now. Look, Caitlyn is like Jesus. <laughs> Caitlyn like Jesus right now, man. I'm serious. But you got to understand, all the way Jesus. Not just the beginning parts of Jesus where he can walk on water and do all these magical tricks and shit like that. Not talking about the whole thing where he coming to this bitch and he be a martyr and he dies on the cross. But that can't be you, Caitlyn. Don't let that happen. Don't let it happen. I need you to get out there and ball because you brought the attention. You brought the attention. When I say what I said about, about Jesus, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to crucify your ass out there. They're like, you're going to be the savior. Okay. You're going to paint you like the savior. I promise that's what they be thinking. That is what these females be thinking. Caitlin, you got a target on you. Just like Jordan. You got a target on you. Do what you got to do. I said the last video. Work in the areas that they can't take from you, right? That they can't take from you. Get better on defense. You're going to have to get in the gym. You really going to have to impress these, these chicks because they headhunting. They headhunting for you. Are you ready for it? I pray that you is, Kaylin, because that's why I'm here to talk about this. That's why I'm talking about this stuff. And before I go, shout out to the damn goddamn Dallas Mavericks. Shout out to them, man. I... It sucks that they trying to say that this Kyrie is a more mature Kyrie, blah, blah, blah. No, he been like this. Y'all just ain't been on his wavelength. Y'all just ain't got there. That man been chill. He ain't bothered nobody. What did he do that was so controversial? Talk about a movie that they got in Amazon. You can go buy this shit your goddamn self. He didn't take the vaccine. Who gives a fuck? I know people who didn't take that fucking vaccine. That vaccine was causing heart issues. I spoke to a fucking actual doctor who told me this shit. Cause of heart issues. Probably why LeBron James son had a damn heart issue with all those other kids in school. Motherfuckers wasn't having heart issues like that before. Shut the fuck up. They injected some shit into you that's, that has not been tested on, on people before. We the first person that they testing this shit on and we injecting that shit into ourselves. We some crazy motherfuckers. I swear we is. <laughs> I swear we is, man. We also, we okay, we ain't, we ain't gonna keep going with that. We gonna stop it. We stopping it right here. Nine minutes. You guys, if you made it through with this video, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy drop videos once again. Congratulations to Kyrie and them. I think they're going to take it. What do y'all think? I think they're going to win that thing. They got the best backcourt in NBA history right now. They do. I don't care what you talk about Jordan and Pippen and fucking Joe Dumas and Isaiah Thomas. Because they said it. They, they talked about this on It Is What It Is, that show. Man, I love that show. Shout out to them. I, I wish I can get on that shit. But anyway, they said it on that show when we talk about the old school. I'm from the old school, so I know about those players. But none of them motherfuckers was putting up 30 points apiece. Goddamn, averaging like nine, 10 assists apiece. These motherfuckers in the backcourt doing all this shit. Steals. That's rebounds. The motherfuckers are balling. 
You can't you can't take this shit away from me. right now. Y'all have never seen anything like this before. Motherfucker scored 36 points apiece. 72 fucking points. These motherfuckers scored 72 points. It don't matter what the hell Minnesota did. If you can't stop one of them, one of them, that's gonna limit your chances. You need to be able to stop one of the motherfuckers. And if you can do that, you might can pray for the rest of the shit to happen. <laughs> pray for it. But guys, thank y'all. Like I said, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Hey, I'm back. For a limited time only, because, you know, I still got stuff I got to do as well for school. But you know what it is, man. I'm here right now. Glad to be here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace. Kaylin, please, just lick your wounds. Goddamn. Y'all got y'all asses beat. Three points? I need to go look at the highlights. Are there any highlights? <laughs> I saw on ESPN they had a highlight for a shot. Talk about she hit a signature shot. It's the only fucking shot she hit. I'm sorry for saying that, guy, but it's, it's the truth. <laughs> y'all take care, man. Peace. Y'all niggas changed it. I've seen it, body warm, heart and anemic, coke.